Hello, good afternoon, everybody. So my name is Emmanuel Timmermans, and I represent the port of Ostende. As each country, Belgium has also to fulfill the recommendations of Europe and 2020-2030 to reduce the CO2, and therefore we have also an offshore wind program. Okay. So in front of the Belgium coast, we have uh, eight wind farms. So the eight wind farms uh, got a building permit. Three are already installed and operational. Five has to wait for grid connection. You see the green dots, those are connected. The red one, I will show this with this pointer. The red one, they wait for grid connection in Zeebrugge. In an axis radius of 200 kilometers, well, when you see it from the port of Ostend, there are more or less 27 wind farms planned, and some of them are operational. In Belgium, there are four seaports. You have Ghent, you have Antwerp, Zeebrugge, and Ostend. Due to a slowdown of the activities of the port of Ostende, Ostend has had to reorient their activities, and they put the focus on offshore winds. Now, why Ostende? Ostende has easy access to open sea. There are no locks. There's 15 acres, hectares, sorry, 15 hectares available. There are pontoons for O&M. And uh, the port of Ostend can offer the priority to the offshore installation vessels. Here you see the location. This is the port. You see the entrance of the port. And here all the area available. This area, this area is available for storage, for assembly, for installation, and to prepare all the equipments to sail out to open sea. Of course, uh, it's good to put the focus on offshore activities, but you need also to have an adequate and adapted infrastructure. To do this infrastructure, you need very strong zones, so we, you have to reinforce this zone to a heavy load zone. You have also to need heavy load keys, and you have to uh, invest in reinforced seabeds just in front of the keys, and this to allow the spots for the uh, installation vessels. Here you see some of uh, heavy load components of a wind turbine, that's an SL of uh, X Repower, now Savion. They are more or less uh, 320 uh, tons. So uh, in Belgium, we don't get subsidies from the government to do all these improvements for the renovation of building new infrastructures. And therefore, Rebo as an investment tool was founded in 2010. A group of private companies who act as equity provider to build these new activities. Here you see Rebo stands for Renewable Energy Base of Ostend. It's a participation of uh, the company's PMV. It is a the private company of the Flemish government. You have the harbor of Ostend. Artes is a huge contractor. And you have two daughter companies of uh, the Deme Group. Once some keys and area were enforced, reinforced and adapted, the first offshore wind project could start from Ostende. Here are some examples. You have the sea power one, two, and three phase. Here you see the jacket, and at the left side, uh, you see gravity-based foundation. This is the, the rotor and the two blades in Bunny from the Alstom Heliade, six megawatts. Again, here you see positioned on the key 
the uh, the nacelle and the two blades. This is 520 ton. Bull turn, one of those uh, specific installation vessels with spots, you see here. So you have to prepare the seabed, otherwise it's not possible to, uh, to have this uh, vessel right next to locations. Again, some pictures of the, uh, the pickup of the, uh, of the nacelle. Here you can see sailing out of the, of the boat to the location. Because of the short distance from the ports to the wind farms, became O&M also a very important activity for a standard. In 2013, more than 3,000 movements took place. So it means that 3,000 3, times small service vessels came in and out to do some maintenance or to do some repairs or to do the installation on the wind farms. Here you see dedicated pontoons. So each wind farm has a pontoon and each developer can use this pontoon for their suppliers and the sub-suppliers. This is quite all an organization um, to see that all the vessels in time can come in and can go out. Also, side infrastructure is needed, like uh, small cranes, to load and unload those uh, service vessels. It's also an investment, a sport you have to do. Rebo has also invested in the new buildings because of course when project developers come and the wind turbine developers um, they have installed their wind farm then there is also an O&M contract of 15 years 20 years and uh, we had also to invest in new buildings here you see the new building of Vestas and there you see the new building of uh, Alstom and Parkwind also Deme at the back Uh, there were still some old uh, buildings in the port and uh, we renovated them and uh, it was also a new opportunity to attract uh, other companies like uh, Senvion, um, Kofleai and Otari. And this is the new building of uh, Falk Nutec, who gives now the training uh, for uh, the people who go to work uh, offshore. That's of course after installation and after uh, O&M, you have also the repairs. So some of blades uh, come already uh, back to the harbor for, uh, uh, to do some repairs, to so do some cracks on the blades. Here you see again a picture. Also the small vessel ships, they have to, um, sometimes where they have to come in also for O&M, so we have those shipyards in the harbor where the service can be provided. This is uh, the, the situation as today with uh, all the actors. You see here sea power on the top of the harbor and then you can see here the head building of uh, the headquarters for the Port of Ostende. Here you see Deme, you see Parkwind, Alstom, uh, Vestas, Senvion, Falknutec, Multitech and other companies. And you see here, we plan already in the master plan, we plan already new buildings to allow new companies to do the installation and to do the O&M. So in fact, we, this, this offshore terminal is split in two parts. One part, so this part, it is for storage and assembly. And then we have another part, this is a long term, this is for ORNM. So from 2010 till now, uh, we have more than 50 companies, new companies in fact, uh, located in the port and they are all involved in the uh, new activity, well we call it a new activity for our port, and it's uh, offshore wind. So it was my brief presentation on the port and the infrastructure. So I want to thank you, and if you want to visit us, we are on the boot L91. Thank you very much.